Hey everybody, my name is Lynn. Welcome to A Bit of Birdsong. I've had a lot of new subscribers this month, so I'm really glad that everybody's here. I appreciate it a lot. I have got trash on my desk. Definitely trash on my desk. And I am going to make an art journal. I thought, why can't I just go ahead and combine the two? I don't have a plan in mind a hundred percent what I'm going to do from start to finish, but I do have an idea and I like the opening on this uh, this box that some trash bags came in. Speaking of trash, so I think we're going to use the opening to be able to put um, maybe some sort of art collage in and I need something. This is going to be the front of the journal. I, I do think I'll cut that down a tiny bit and we're not gonna throw away that little edge. I love the design on that where the paper stuck to it with the glue. And maybe we will trim this just a little bit. I'm gonna need something to go behind this because, um, just because. Why don't we cut that off and Let's go ahead and bring this down as far as I can because I want to be able to use all of this. This is just a piece of cardboard type paper uh, that I had on my desk and I worked on it. You can see there's different kinds of paints and I think it's really pretty to use things like that. So we're going to let, let this be the cover of the art journal and we've got to have a back that's close to the same size. Let's cut that little piece off. We might have to do a Frankenstein type setup. So let's come back here. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that just gloriously grungy and beautiful? Let's cut straight across there. And so look at this. That will make, uh oh, I think, wait, let's do this. Let's cut that little tab off. Not, we're gonna have a little opening there, but if this is gonna be a little sort of Frankenstein thing, that's fine. Now, I have something I wanna use. I'm really excited about this. Uh, I was in the grocery store last night buying something for dinner, and I noticed, and I love to check the art section in grocery stores. I don't buy much there because typically it is more expensive but every once in a while, they will have something on clearance. So this roll of tape was like $1.25. Really, really good buy on this. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna use this to make my trashy art journal that I have in mind. So let's go ahead and start taping the back of this. Oh goodness. Oh, that wasn't good. Uh oh. Okay, wait. So let's just hold on to this for now. Maybe that will be a happy accident. Let's put this here. Look at that bright pink. I love it. Jennifer, it seems like I've used so much pink lately. And I know that you're not a huge fan of pink. At least not as much as I've been using it here. So, I think about you every time I use this bright pink. Okay, so let's put that there. And, I see, that's, that holds, that holds really well. What I'm going to do is tear off another piece and try not to fold it up like I did the last one. And I don't want to just waste this tape. Like, I do want to use it, but I want to be careful with it. And you know what I mean. So both sides of that are really pretty. So let's use this for the back and then for the front. So what I have in mind is not to close it at the top, 
because we would be able to make like art collages and switch out what's on the front cover. So I am gonna cut a little dip out of the front so that you can slide things in and out. And maybe, so how do we wanna do this? I think what I'm gonna do is, I actually think I'm gonna tape around the edge um, because I don't want to, because I wanna keep working on this. That would be part of it. The other thing is just thinking about that glue and how far in it's gonna come as far as um, limiting the size of the picture that we can put in. So let's put this piece here and flip that right over. And let's put, oh goodness, I did it again. This tape is so sticky. And if you're not careful, you do this. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I think I got it straightened out enough. And since this is a trashy journal, we're not going to worry. Like, I'm definitely not going to throw that away and start again because the whole point of this is trash. I know this tape is loud. I'm sorry. That's so bright, my goodness. So that is the front and I do love it. Let's fold that over a little bit. And then we have the back. So what we need to think about is creating a, a spine that we can glue things into. Now I thought about this because it can be kind of curved naturally because that's the shape of it. This is a paper towel roll. But is it going to be too curved for what I want to do? Maybe not. I mean, we could we can make it flatten out too by kind of rolling it back the other way. Yeah, so that'll be perfect. So let's do this. Let's cut straight across there and move some of this stuff back so we don't mess it up. And get back. Um, just thinking here how I want to do this. We can keep adding. We can keep adding all sorts of stuff. I don't want to use the sewing machine at all on this. I hope you've been able to see everything. I realize I had that way down towards the bottom part of the desk. I don't want to use the sewing machine at all. Now we might do some hand stitching of signatures, uh, but I've been trying to get away from my sewing machine lately and just explore, you know, being creative outside of using a sewing machine. Uh, we could tape this here, and I'm thinking maybe we want it closer together than not. So let's turn this this way. And get a piece of tape. And I think what we're going to do... I can do it without messing it up. I want to rip it right down the center again. And let's put this one here. And then let's come to the outside and put one here. And now let's do the same thing with this part. So that's our spine. I 
remember when I was little and I first figured out, probably my mom or my dad showed me, that you could tear a piece of tape off like this, and I thought that was the coolest thing, that you could just be strong enough to just tear off the piece you wanted. Um, okay, so that would be, that's kind of cool, and that gives us a lot of room to tape in signatures. And here they are. Make that a little bit even. So, and you can always add more tape. I, I love that. This is the piece that I put to the side a little while ago. We'll put that over the top there. So now, putting some signatures in that we can work on. Um, we've got this, and Gesso is our friend when we're talking about things like this. I think we're going to tape a lot of these signatures in, maybe all of them. And let's see, let me turn it back this way so that I can measure the height. So I hope that this is not too boring. I am just going to come right through here and start taping these pages in. We'll put a, a piece, piece of tape on each side and there my shop door just opened. Hello. That's always scary, especially at night. Um, when I forget to latch it and the wind opens it all of a sudden because uh, I feel like somebody's coming in and I, you know, I mean, wouldn't bother me if Jason came in, but anyway, you know. Oh, so this could be a fun, this could be a fun page. We're not even going to clean it up. Uh, let's, let's take this one in. And we will just keep right on going with our tape. I'm not going to do a lot of editing on this video. I think sometimes it's fun just to watch the whole process. This is one of my favorite kind of videos to watch. I do like to watch edited videos if I'm trying to get to like the point of something, if I'm looking for something real specific, um, you know, it's nice to be able to watch a video that's seven minutes long that tells you how to do something that's seven minutes long instead of an hour and a half that's telling you how to do something that's seven minutes. And I'm not being critical at all. I've, I've definitely uh, made videos before that I look back and think, oh, I wasted everybody's time and I really didn't need to do this or that. Um, but that said, this, this is one of my favorite types of videos, just to watch someone create. I know that tape's going to be loud, so this might not be the best kind of video to use uh, headphones with. So let's just keep taping these pages in. I love that you can do this. You know, it gives you pages that will turn. And look at all this room we have for more and more pages. Now, this is part of a calendar that uh, I sometimes put these big calendar pages in my fun packs because the paper is so nice. And yet, if the images are too seasonal, you know, I don't want to tie somebody to a holiday like Christmas or something in their fun pack when they really want something that's more generic. So I will just put these to the side and I don't have anything to do with them other than just something like this. So they're perfect to go in a trash journal like this. And then this is paper that has been on the art desk and has been used to wipe my brush on and it's caught spills. It's been a testing ground. Keep taping these pages in. Thanks to everybody who has uh, responded to the 
poll that I put on the channel, I've just been curious what everybody likes to watch the most. I know everything is not everybody's favorite. Some people like the trash journals and some people like just flip throughs and I really like um, like when Halloween, Halloween, Halloween rolls around. I like these sort of um, gothic and macabre and creepy things. And you know, not everybody likes that. I um, and not everybody's into Christmas. So it's nice every once in a while just to get a handle on what your viewers like the most. If I'm going to be publishing videos, I might as well do something that that everybody wants to see. We can grunge this thing up. We're going to have so many fun things in here. Let's see how it's looking. Okay, that's cool. And see, we can use clips and things to hold the pages down while we're working. This is going to be so much fun. Oh, what else do we have? Uh, Jason and I have an Instant Pot, or is it Instant Pot or Instapot? I think I've seen both. Instant Pot, I think it is. And, um, and everybody else is way ahead of us, I'm sure. We've had it for a few years, and we never used it. We didn't buy it. Um, Jason's mom gave it to us, and she gifted us with several uh, small appliances all at one time. Or maybe not appliances, but kitchen aids, you know, like a deep fryer and... Um, what else was it? The Instant Pot... Seems like there was another thing also. But we just, we've been saying like regularly, we, we gotta use the Instant Pot. We gotta use the Instant Pot. And I finally pulled it out one night when we were kind of late getting to to dinner, getting, getting around to fixing dinner. And we just didn't wanna go out and spend on fast food. That, that can be just the most disappointing thing lately. So I said, I'm gonna just take that Instant Pot out and see what I can do. And we ended up with the best chicken legs, like drumsticks, and we had gravy with it. And then um, we tried the Instant Pot again a couple of nights later and had, let's see, we had a, Oh, a pork tenderloin. And we ended up with gravy with that. And I had done um, sauteed um, zucchini squash and squash and onions in a skillet. And I made hash browns in the, or uh, tater tots in the deep fryer. I know that's like probably the least healthy thing ever, but it's so good. Anyway, we ate all the tater tots. And then last night, I made leftover soup. I'm going the long way around the barn, but it was last night that I saw this tape. And um, I'm pretty sure it was last night. One of these most recent nights because I had gone in there to get some ice cream for dessert. We had soup made of the leftovers. So like the gravy that I had left over, the broth, everything from making that... Um, the chicken and the pork tenderloin, and then I made rice to go in it. I did put the rest of the squash and zuc the zucchini squash in there, and it was really good. That soup was amazing. It was so good. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in because we can Frankenstein a whole page to make an art spread. So this doesn't, you know, don't, don't overthink. I think that's one of the big secrets on these things. Don't overthink. Just put stuff in. And sometimes when things just fall into place naturally, it, it'll just be the best. These little scraps I've got. Let's use these. Two. There's another one. 
uh oh that there and that there maybe um tear off a tiny piece I'm kind of doing a Frankenstein on that too you know what so, oh we've had uh, fried okra recently too I think I might put this in because that would make a really cool pocket in the back for supplies it could almost be like a like some fancy pocket that comes with a journal, you know? And I think we're gonna put uh, more tape on this. Like, let's put the whole piece because if it's gonna have stuff in it and we're gonna be pulling on it, we wanna make sure that it's in really good. Plus, I think that'll help reinforce the the spine and the back cover on that side. So look at this, oh my goodness. That's pretty crazy. And we could add even more, but no. So here we are down to these pages and, or these little scraps everywhere. How do I want to do... Ooh, that would make like a, a really fun way to attach the journal. Look how that's going to unravel. Might want to use, I don't know, I don't want to overthink any of this. That's cool right there. Don't know that I want to glue anything on the front yet. Let's see, we can start. Putting different things on the inside. Because we're going to use all these scraps. And as this thing comes together and we keep adding, um, when we start adding our art, our collage, the, you know, paintings and things that we're going to do, the gesso, this thing is going to be amazing. Ooh, and I do have more. You can go back through and glue in more pages. Maybe back here where we've got these smaller pages. There's some space here. So these are fun. This is left over from some stickers, uh, stickers, stamps, hello, that I used. And the stickers were around the edge. Uh oh. So let's put those right there. And. Maybe we'll put this across the top. Should we even save this? That's kind of neat. Um, this is going to be, this looks like a material that's not going to take any kind of paint or anything. I wonder what alcohol ink would do. 
Ooh, it just beads up on that surface. It might stain it, I'm not really sure. A little bit. Okay, we'll sit that to the side. And since we talked about making a Frankenstein page here, let's cut this down and let's let's go ahead and do that. right here. So that's the glued into place there. Oops, I kind of pulled it over a little bit. Let's get that glue off of there. Actually, I don't like it when I run the glue over onto a spot that it shouldn't be on because then the next page sticks to it. So let's just cover that up with this. That's definitely going to be like a Frankenstein page. I never use that word and I've used it about 10 times in this video. I like this. What are we going to do with the spine? I think we could paint it. Let's just open this up and look at that. We could also add fabric from the fabric scraps that I have here. And this is where I cut up the fabric packs that were listed. Ooh, that is perfect. Okay, so can we get this to stay? Not going to worry about perfection. I love that. So let's get some glue on here. I'm going to have to get some more tacky glue. Tacky glue is my favorite. It holds so many things. Um, I basically use it on everything. For a lot of my collages lately, though, I've been using the Jot glue from the Dollar Tree on the bottom layer because it holds, it'll be fine. You put so many layers over the top of it, and it takes so much glue on that first layer. Seems like a, an economical choice. doesn't matter which side goes up. And we can, are we gonna like this? Let's see. Mm -hmm. That's really neat. And we can always come back with more glue if we need it. But let's just let this dry for now. And we are going to have a fun collage mixed media art piece in front. And then we get on the inside. You know, you could use this inside cover. Well, I don't know how that would work out. I was going to say you could use it like to, like I do this background here. It could end up with all kinds of paint on it. This is cool. I like these little rings here the grommets. But I don't want to put anything out here yet. I want to wait and see how the cover evolves. 
I'm wondering. some tabs in here. So let's go ahead and use an empty stapler. I love this. Uh, oh, no, it's got something in it. It's just not all the way to the end. What is going on here? I started to say this should not be empty because I just put staples in it. Like I felt like yesterday or the day before. I didn't think I had used that many. So let's staple this. And you know, remember, we're going to do all sorts of art and gesso. So some of this might get layers on it, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Let's just start putting stuff in here to make it interesting and, and fun. I don't want to staple over that uh, grommet. That's a nice heavy piece. So let's do this one from the top. And we might use that to hang something from. Oh, so I have an idea. This really lightweight paper with the different colors. I saved some labels this week to be able to use for my collage work in here. Um, so that is something we can put into this. That'll hold the collage papers we're gonna work with. And oh, this string, <laughs> I've let it get all tangled up, but we are gonna use this. This would make really cool hair for a paper doll that could live in the book. So that can go right there. And let's see across the back here. Do we want any kind of pocket? Or any sort of pocket would be fun. And we can just turn it that way so we've got that little interesting scrap sticking out. And let's put that out a little bit. And we will let that dry in. Any of the stuff that we have to come back and use a stapler on as well, that, that is fine. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm thinking about whether or not this is going to stick to that um, tape. Uh, but if it doesn't, I mean, we could even tape again. So let's see here. Let's clean up real quick. I'm going to go ahead and stack all of the fabric up in one stack. And even the little tab pieces. Oh, this is going to all be so pretty. This is one of those, um, you know, I had the kind of crazy looking fabric tie in the fabric pack I listed today. So we might use this for something like that once the journal gets to be more sturdy. So let's get all of our envelopes and paper stacked up together. And let's get the fabric over here. This little stack of strings need to stay over there. Sorry, it's such a mess. But that's, I wanted this to just feel messy. I wanted to just dive in here and start putting something together 
and see what happened. Now these little pieces that I've cut off, I'm gonna recycle those. So there's that. We've got some little trim pieces. And then, okay, we've got this, 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 all sorts of fabric over here, and this paper. This is heavier paper, uh, so some of the thinner pieces of trash that we can use to make collage, we're gonna put in this bag. And that bag looks like it wants to keep um, letting things fall out. I'm sure it's because it's such a big bag. So I'm just gonna put a paper clip over the top. And you know what, to make it really pretty. Hello. Let's get a piece of fabric to fold over the top and we will just paper clip that closed. And we know that that's our collage material. I was gonna make a, um, a journal charm out of that or either we could use it to stamp circles, different paint circles. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. And that looks like it's drying pretty good. Oh, I need a little more on this side. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to let this be part one uh, because I want to keep recording as we work through this and then be able to do a final flip through. Uh, I might do a little bit more work and then, you know, show you what I've done in the next video, but we will keep processing this, this thing and uh, doing the videos until it's done. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Let's see, that does seem to be staying. We'll put something fun in there too. It almost looks like a little window box. Maybe we'll put flowers in here. All right, I'll be back soon. Bye for now.